Now that we have found the local surface matrix for a frame element, let's move on to find its global surface matrix. So, so far we've had this uh, relationship between the local forces and local displacements. I have a six by one vector of local nodal forces. And I have a six by one vector of local nodal displacements. And this is a six by six stiffest matrix written in global coordinate system or local coordinate system. I took the E, of e over L out from the truss and beam stiffest matrices and I populated this matrix with the corresponding elements from the truss and, stiffness and beam stiffest matrices. Here A is the cross section area and CB is I over L squared and L is the length of the beam. Now to move from the local surface matrix to global surface matrix, we need to use transformation matrix. And for 2D in truss analysis, we found this transformation matrix, cos sine minus sine cos, that will relate the local forces to global forces, like that. Similarly, local displacements to global displacements. Now for frames, we also have the moments to consider as additional forces and the corresponding degrees of freedom would be rotation angles, phi. The good news is that because we're in 2D coordinate system and the z-axis of both of the local and global coordinate systems lie on top of each other, moments in local coordinate system are equal to moments in global coordinate system. So expanding this two by two stiff, uh, transformation matrix to a three by three transformation matrix gives me a matrix like this. F1x is equal to C times F1x plus sine times F1y plus zero. F1y in local is equal to minus sine times F1x in global plus cos times F1y in global. And M1z in local is equal to M1z in global. So I can write a three by three transformation matrix for a frame element that would convert it from local to global stiffest matrix. But this is only written for one node. Now I can expand that to consider both nodes in a typical frame element because I have six forces, Fx, Fy, and Mz per node, and I have their global counterparts. So if I write F1x here, F1y, M1z, F2x, F2y, M2z, and let me just can divide this into four three by threes. And by taking a look at this relationship between the forces in local and global, you can figure out how I made this matrix. So this portion, portion one, is what relates the uh, forces for node one. So that would be this, two forces for node one in global current system. And this portion, which I'm gonna call four, would be the same thing, but for the second node of the element. And the other portions, portion two or quarter two and quarter three of this matrix would be filled with zeros. So now I have a six by one vector of local nodal forces six by one vector of local global nodal forces, and I have a six by six transformation matrix for that element. The same can be done for the displacements, and I can use this transformation matrix to convert the trans displacements from local coordinate system to global coordinate system.